Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, today's focus is actually going to be on the Revenant, or in this case, um, the Retro Revenant. Um, I, like many of you um, that have won one, am struggling with trying to find a, a good mix fit uh, for the bot. Um, I'm titling actually today's video <laughs> Keg with Legs because, like, legit... This guy, his shields get blown off all the freaking time, all the time. That's like those little hinges need to get like glued on better. Um, and he just looks like, like a keg running around with legs. Um, the key thing here with this bot is is really sustained damage. This is how I actually landed with corkers. People are probably like, what the frick are you doing? Um, I had sinister rhymes. DPS drops, you're roast. I had scatters, and you know, I could MK2 them, but I haven't yet. Um, DPS drops, you're roast. Um, haven't leveled my skulls, but same thing, the, the DPS just falls on those. So, um, the corkers, like a you know, at 50 millimeter range, uh, the corker has no overheat issues. It continues sustained damage, uh, it's about 10,000 damage per second, and it just keeps on going. So, I went with that. I didn't. I don't have any Nucleons anymore. I never really won any, and I sold all of them. So I'm using my Ember. Um, the modules were really difficult for me also to set up. Um, I landed on two Fortifiers and a Balance Unit, and you're probably thinking, where the frick is your last stand? I, the, the health is so big on this thing that, I mean, you're starting with 320 to 350 um, health. So... Uh, and, and I was watching a recent uh, YouTuber, Adrian, his video, he had like an MK3 Revenant, and that thing was like at 650,000 health. So I, I dropped it. Um, you need two fortifiers because like literally, um, <clears throat> even though we have a 261,000 physical shield, divide that on each side, that's 130,000. So um, with two max fortifiers, you're looking at uh, about 50% bump in your physical shield. So um, that, I guess, distributes pretty decently. Um, and, you know, okay, so sorry, focus of the video actually is which freaking pilot do you use? So um, I've blown most of my uh, oil of Olay gold on <laughs> upgrading different pilots uh mildly also for you guys but me also just as an experiment so uh i won ricardo uh so i was kind of like on first roll which i was like what the frick um in that in that group so i i loaded it with a well actually the roadhog and cautious were were auto rolls and i just upgraded those but i put physical shield on you need physical shield absolutely whatever the heck you do mechanic you absolutely need to um maybe wonder worker stacked with mechanic because this thing loses health really fast remember there's no damage resistance um so in today's video i have like half of them with a uh, ricardo other half uh let's scroll and scroll and scroll i'm doing these live so of course you guys are gonna have to see all my pilots all of this um and then uh vasilla but no vasilissa 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 let's call her vas um i uh i rolled physical and armor <clears throat> on on its own actually i got a t4 for the physical so i was like i'll keep that um and armor i upgraded to t4 um and then the adamant mechanic just you know um was luck roll and i'm gonna keep it because like guaranteed i i don't send the revenant in first um he's definitely going in third so let's um let's take a look at this keg on legs uh let's let's see how he does um uh Put, put some comments down there uh, if you've got other ideas. Um, he, he's definitely unique and great in the sense that you've got like literally um, immunity to DOT, suppression, freeze, lockdown, blast, and EMP. And with the Ricardo, you're running around like a maniac. I mean, like if you, oops, sorry. If you look here, Ricardo's running at 25% boost and uh, add on Roadhog, uh, sorry, boost in speed. And add in Roadhog, which is 18.75. So you're in the 40s already. Um, and uh, <clears throat> I say 40s because uh, Cautious Pilot also knocks down 10%. So um, keep that in mind. But you need it. You absolutely need Cautious. You need Wonder Worker, which I'm going to work towards once we get a Pilot um, Overdrive. And uh, 
Wonder Worker and Tough Guy are going to be my next ones. So something to think about. I may keep Ricardo. I may keep uh, Vass. I don't know. They're both actually pretty decent. You'll see the video. Um, you guys decide, but um, essentially the only way you'll be able to tell the difference between the two pilots is that when Ricardo's triggered, you'll see the speed button in the top left. And with Vass, you'll just see... Um, an amazing amount of health is um, essentially uh, repaired after her ability is up. Okay, so enjoy the videos, guys, um, and thanks for watching, listening, post some ideas and comments. Let's try to figure this keg on legs out. Bye. All right, let's uh, roll out with a Nebula um, drone. Oh, and there's a guy with low health, so that'll be a good first attack. Uh, this is with the Ricardo. You can see the speed boost right there. Um, and that was an easy kill. I uh, hear this one's with an ember and rhyme, as you guys can see. Uh, you'll note the, the, the DPS dropoff is uh, pretty significant with these rhymes. Um, the rockets are slowly coming back, so this sort of situation is not fun. Um, you can turn, use your shields like I did right there. Uh, this is like kind of Bulgasari days where you use the shield and kind of turn away uh, while your DPS comes back. But you can quickly see here, you, you really do need... Um, you're going to need that health pool and you can see my shields are now gone and um <clears throat> i'm gonna just pray for uh, an active module to pop up so uh going in solo 1v1 is is doable but 1v2 like this or 1v3 is just like it's not so um in this video of course i i use the last stand um but kind of like i was saying in the intro i've been experimenting and um the last stands were not great so i managed to recover here i'm gonna kind of blink over here try to get this guy um you you have to spend a lot of time in, in coverage for this build to work um you just you kind of need to so even though this i'm like on three kills um now i'm gonna get wiped out now obviously if this is an mk3 bot it would be a different situation now smart me would probably leave this guy alone and wait but I'm going to be dumb and aggressive like I usually am and blink in front of him. There you go, blink. And, oh, he died anyways. So you can see uh, my keg is running around now. Uh, it literally looks either like a keg or a trash can. I don't know. I love the design, but, like, it's just kind of goofy looking when all the shields pop off. And guaranteed, your shields will pop off within, like, a minute of playing if you even survive a minute. It's just, like, a given. It's 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 either a bug or these are, like, really weak shields. Like, I don't know. I guess the, sh the, the uh, whatchamacallit, the, uh, shields that we see on the Arthur or the shields that we see on, um, uh, the whatchamacallit, I'm forgetting the bot's name, but whatever, the Mini Arthur. Um, they're just massively dense, or they're glued on better, or there's whatever. There's just a bug on this one or something, or these shields are weak. So, um, you can see there. Uh, okay, this video, I think I used a VAS in this video. Yeah, so you can see here, uh, there's no speed buff. This is vast. This is a stupid move, by the way. Uh, blinking into a group of three bots, two of which are uh, revenants as well. <clears throat> you got the samurai revenant right there. Acid is flowing everywhere, um, so my health will get eventually uh, bumped up with her ability, which I think it did. Um, but it's it's just basically death. Uh, what I did was dumb. So there's a lesson of what not to do um, in this video. Let's take a look. Pick your, pick your poison. Got the nebula. Um, mind you, my uh, my drones are running like heavy defense too. So uh, here I'm running uh, Ricardo. The speed's okay, actually. I mean, so the smart move here, actually, if you're in center, is get the frick out, right? So I've got one second left. Um, let me just move out. But then these guys are blocking me, and I seem to be safe. There's acid being thrown around everywhere. Um, I think the acid build is definitely good. It's just going to be expensive, and I don't know about you guys, but like I just don't, I don't have the silver to do that just yet. So um, I'll wait and see. So I'm going to blink over here, whether that's smart or not. Use some health. Uh, try to get at least one guy. One v two, like I said in the earlier earlier in the video, is risky. But if you can get a weak person like this guy, you you can benefit. So wiped him out. Now it's two v one, um, and I just lost my rhyme. And I'm using some health, and I'm gonna die because it's a Fafnir. 3v1 is guaranteed that. 
so don't do that. So <laughs> this has become like a what you should not do video, uh, but it's just the reality of like an, I mean, it's an MK 2.4, I think. Revenant to 10% extra durability. So uh, just like, you know, kind of know what you're getting into. Um, okay, so I blinked here because we need this beacon. Um, so, you know, hopefully I'll get some support, but uh, right now I've got like, oh, Demeter helping to heal. Um, you can see here that I am, I've lost all my shields as usual. Uh, that seems to be the BTW. Is everybody annoyed by that little like beep, 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 beep? It is like constantly on and, and like, there it goes again. I, it's just like, it drives me nuts. Anyways, um, you have to back off with this bot. It's, it's, uh, it's definitely not a shell. That's what I meant to say. Good Lord. I forgot like what the heck a shell is. Uh, the shields on this are not like the shell shields where they can just really take a, a, a lick in and keep on taking. Um, so picks, if you're watching my video, which I doubt you are, um, you may need to check these out. So my DPS sucks. I've got one rhyme left. Uh, this guy's just like, this is actually like a good blooper video. Like y y you guys can watch like Manny and like Adrian and other really great YouTubers and they know how to like do it. But I've got this like, like freaking tin can keg running around like a freaking proverbial. I was about to drop some curse words, but, um, to keep it PG. It's just, just a disaster. I'm stuck with one bloody rhyme. How am I still alive? This is just stupid. 190 health, too. My defense is up. I'm running some... Oh, my God, get this. Should I get that? Um, should I get it? Should I get the beacon? No, nah, we're losing anyway. Screw it. Let me get some damage. Let's do this. Let's do this. All right, so we got Vass uh pilot let's hope she heals me up i i've noticed with the vast pilot i do live longer so if you're smart and tactical um you can see she kind of bumped my health up while i was getting slaughtered by a freaking minos and a fenrir um let's go to the next one so um back again in this pit using ricardo so dumb move on my part did not see that there was two reds behind this red so i wanted to save the beacon using the shields there but guaranteed gonna be popped off in a few seconds if you guys were here during the bulgasari days you, you know how to use this bot it's it's pure pure shield left turn right turn you got a corner shoot i'm realizing quickly um you just need sustained damage, and this is where I'm like struggling. I, I don't want to cave in and use and like upgrade the asset. Oh, should not have leaped into that freaking Minos. Well, it's there. My keg, my keg is being kicked around. Um, but you know, the good thing is Ricardo's got the speed boost helps to get the heck out of bad situations too. So, again, you, you, if you want to, if you have a, a Vass. Uh, she's, you know, she'll give you the health, like a massive health bump because you're going to drop some serious, serious, serious damage with any sort of, um, heavy weapons, uh, well, heavy in two lights. Um, if you, you know, if you want to risk that and put Roadhog and like a couple other things there, you could do that and rush out. Um, or you use Ricardo at 25, like, well, with Roadhog, it's like 40% speed boost is like freaking nuts. That's like... For a bot with this much health, that's nuts. So both pilots, I'm I'm torn. I don't know what to do, honestly. I really don't. Um, and <laughs> it's, I'm struggling too because I don't want to spend any more gold um, like upgrading and doing whatever else and promoting for skills that may not work out. So um, let's see. Ricardo, come on. He's still alive too. Let's just like look, note that the amount of like damage I've already done. This is kind of crazy. Thank God for these F-type shields. Good Lord. Let me get this guy. Oh, damn. Close. Um, this was my alternate build. I I would say Devastator Scatter. Um, it did not work out so well for me. As you can see, it's like you'd think it would have like really great damage. The problem I, I found with this is um, you're kind of chunky and slow between between abilities so like take this guy for example right so let's see he's 250 if i had my rhymes and my ember no big deal now i gotta sit and hide behind this sign what is the sign i don't even know what the heck this is to play with my shields this bro is like what are you doing man i'm gonna blink and get you all right ricardo let's go boom 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 now remember 
to tier. He's got freaking shields like you've got no, like nobody's business. So now I'm getting killed on the right and left. I'm in the middle of Rome. Uh, shield's gonna pop. There we go. All right, let's flip it around, turn it around. Okay, I'm gonna get you now, just out of like pure spite. Yeah, you forgot me, didn't you, bro? All right, let's go. Let's get him. 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 So, this is why I decided quickly that the devastator and the scatter is not gonna work for me. If you're good with it, awesome. I'm not. So 188 health. Let's see if I can get this guy. Pop, pop. Did he just self-destruct? I don't think I even got the kill. Um, acid, Ember. Those are my. Those are my votes right now. Um, I'm about to die. This this bro's done. Should I heal? When I hit the heal button, I also get the uh, damage boost. Or not the the repair. Not the repair boost. The defense uh, resistance. So let me see if I can do that and then also fly over. Let's see this guy here. Oh, whoa, that sucks. I was going to blink into a bot without a last stand, but it turns out it's an Arthur. So, so much for that. Peace. Okay. So, um, here we are. Uh, floating around in, I forgot this level's name. Is it Springfield? It's not Shenzhen. I'm going to blink down there because I can. Um, oh, yes. So the best thing is when you've got somebody that's got redeemers. <laughs> Keep on firing, bro. Nothing. Nothing. I'm indestructible. Come on. Mm, just let him fire at me. Fire away, bro. This is mine. This is my freaking. All right. Well, I guess find Scorpion via snot and take my guy. No, you know what? Oh, no. I'm going to go get him. Come on. Come out of your ability. Yes. Blink. Three, two, one. Quarter shoot. Come on. Come back now. I'm behind the freaking level. I better get this kill. If I don't get this kill, I'm going to be... No. Come back. Come back. Let me kill you. Son of a... Dude, not cool. <gasps> well, good news is I still have both my shields. Better news is I can blink out of this slow walking keg into that area over there. Get him at least. Hopefully take him out. The shield is helping here, right? You can get, block all the shots from the side. And of course, it's a freaking... Now I'm going to be... Yeah, 2v1 with the Titan up above my head. This is not going to end well. Okay, 270 health. Nope, okay, you don't want... Oh, uh, turn. Shield. Shield. Yeah, so the shell has basically spoiled us all with like a 100% like covered shield. This is like real life where you have like Bulgasari like strategic shielding type stuff. The vets know what I'm talking about. How am I still alive? This keg is crazy. Okay. Uh, let's take a look. See here. Let me see if I can go into that. Uh, this is going to be Ricardo again. Uh, pff, whoa. That's a lot of people. I can't even see what's going on. Oh, hey. Nope. Bishop. No shields. Look at that. Shields are gone. Good lord. I don't know. This is a mess. The matchmaking's been funky. I'm sure all of you have noticed, so I'm getting like some serious like heavy hitters. Let me get this. You know what I should do is also add defense point on getting beacons. So basically I need like 10 pilot skills to get this keep guy alive, but once I guess he's got all his pilot skills, he'll be really wicked good. So I don't know. What's this? No, don't, don't, don't shoot me. Oh, you're too far away. Oh my God, I'm so slow and frozen. One thing I did notice too in modules, and this one has a new camp, is the new camp is essentially useless. I guess for some weird reason, I do not get a good ramp up like I did with other bots. Same webs, just not getting it. I think what, with the shell when I ran the new camp, the explosion really added to the damage. Um, here, you don't have anything to explode, so you're just basically on your weapons. And you better pray to God that you can dish out enough. And I don't know, this guy just steamrolled me. So. Hawk, she, hawk beams, impervious. Yep. Did nothing to me, buddy. Let's go. I do. I have to say that even though the shields suck, 
they're when you when you have them up you feel like freaking god you feel like you can like you can take on the freaking world uh let's go here i'm gonna blink this he doesn't even see me all right bro like my corkers so this is when i decided to try the corker build um and the sustained corner shooting ability of it it sort of reminds me of a gareth or a galahad so I'm probably using bot names none of you even remember. Like Gary and Galley were like part of the like those with like Lancelot. Um, those were like fun bots. So this is kind of the strategy you have to use. Corner shoot, um, be smart about it. And again, obviously if you blink like I am right here, this is a stupid like what I'm doing this melee, and of course I'm like learning with you guys, right? This is dumb. Like, what I should have done is just gone, ducked right back out once my blink was done. Um, again, using the Ricardo pilot. Because of the speed, you can at least get back under cover or you can get back and round a corner. So, lesson learned slowly. Uh, let me see if I've got a vas on this. Maybe I do? No, this is Ricardo again. Um... Yeah, I, I mean, I've got a lot of clips, so I'm, you know, probably gonna, you guys are probably tired of hearing me, but um, I think, you know, draw your conclusions, see what you guys think. Um, I like them both, and I think you need to take a deep, this is like, you know, Grandpa Shiva, like, introspection moment. Take a deep look into how you play. If you're aggressive and, like, crazy and just jump into, like, pits of fire, uh, maybe the Vass is better with, like, a lot of speed abilities because then you can just go in, heal right back up, and then get the heck out, run out. Um, if you're, like, sort of snipey and, like, like you play a Scorp really well, maybe the Ricardo's the better better pilot for you because you can kind of like blink in run circles around somebody a little whack 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 and then like get back under cover basically like a scorp so i'd say in my head if you're a good scorp player which i'm not which is pretty evident from this if you're a good scorp player uh why did i blink into this sharunga if you're a good scorpion player ricardo is probably your best pilot um and if you're just like a brutal like like you take your friend rear and drop it onto a beacon and just like pummel everybody maybe vast is better for you um because like as you guys can see from all these videos um even though i'm like i i think i'm more of a ricardo i don't know actually i really don't know what i am i haven't really thought about it um but oh good thing about actually this shield as i'm like kind of jumping around with my thoughts uh the hell and snare and all these other weapons <laughs> they're a joke they don't do crap yeah buddy what's up yep your hell is nothing to me i love that i, I love that when the shields are working and you're just like annoying people like this it's like the best thing um because then you can just like essentially slaughter them once they once they get down to their last stand although i'll probably get slaughtered here but um that is the at least the idea wait i didn't kill him damn it so okay conclusions thoughts um definitely good lord that was that took a while to kill by the way um definitely consider the ricardo if you are an experienced um scorpion player and you've got that like just that mentality and then definitely consider the vast if you're just like uh like a, a fenrir junkie and you love dropping in and just like toughing people out the minimum pilot skills you will need to make this revenant last in champions will definitely be cautious tough guy physical shield armor expert and roadhog minimum okay so like set aside like 10 grand and like whatever like that's three months of gold um and yeah weapon wise i can't tell you guys i i'm still experimenting myself so hopefully i i helped uh you know narrow things down for you guys when it comes down to which pilot to choose and like your play style but um neither pilot's bad it, really honestly they're both pretty good and they both have you can see from this video i die equally fast with both pilots so um all right so i guess uh, enjoy the last clip it's on chenzen um with quirkers and uh yeah uh, i hope you guys enjoy the video uh 
Am I supposed to say like and subscribe? I mean, I do this for Reddit, so like it if you want, subscribe if you want. Uh, we're over 100, so thank you guys for getting me over 100. That was like a huge milestone, um, and I, I, you know, obviously love doing this for uh, for the community and for you know getting your guys' thoughts and experimenting with all of you. So, uh, peace.